All right, let's take a look at review problem 4.4. Uh, we have the data 89.11, 79.18, and so on. I've already inputted those into Excel. And if I draw a quick scatter diagram of this, so insert scatter, we see that the data definitely does not follow a linear trend. It's got a definite curve to the data. And so a linear regression fit is not appropriate. So the question is to fit it to something else, namely y is equal to a times e to the bx. Uh, for this one, we will use um, we'll turn this into something that is linear by using logarithms. So we have, uh, take the natural log of both sides, natural log of y is equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of e to the bx. And natural log and exponential cancel themselves out. So we get natural log of y is equal to natural log of a plus b times x. Now this is an intrinsically uh, linear model. If I make the simple transformation that y prime is equal to natural log y, then I have that y prime is equal to natural log a, a constant, which we'll solve for in a little bit, plus b times x. And so by making this transformation, we can have the uh, natural log. Uh, we have something that's linear by taking natural log of both sides. So the, bit, the, the practical upshot is, if I take the natural log of the y-coordinates, then I have something that will have an intrinsically linear fit. So to do that in Excel, um, this is the y-axis, I'm sorry. Let's get the transformed y-primes, which will be equal to the natural log of the y-coordinates. So I just simply take the natural logs of these six numbers, now let me hide this one because I don't need it anymore. And let's plot this to see what the this scatter plot looks like using the transformed y coordinates. And lo and behold, we see we have something that does now look fairly linear. So if I add the trend line, uh, let me put the equation on the chart. So we have that the trend line is that y is equal to negative 0.0504x plus 6.8862. So the thing that multiplies x is going to be the value of b, which we see here. And so in our model, b is equal to, I believe it was negative 0 0.0504. And then the uh, intercept, 6.8862, is going to be natural log of a. Okay, so we read off the slope and read off the intercept. Now for this problem, we have to do a quick transformation to solve for what a itself actually is. So a would be equal to e to the 6.8862. And if we do that calculation real quick, um, e to the 6.8862 is equal to 978.68. And so that would be the answer for, um, well, that's using the A and the B, we have our answer that uh, the fit itself would be Y is equal to 978.68 times E to the negative 0.0504x. Okay, uh, let me talk about how to do this on the calculator. So ahead of time, I've edited uh, the list, so I have the same x and y coordinates, 89, 11, 79, 18, 37, 150, and so on. So the first step was to get the natural logs of all the, the y coordinates. So that means in list L3, I want this to be equal to the natural log of the y coordinates, which were in list L2. And so this generates the y coordinates. And then I will do a linear fit of 
list L1 compared to list L3. The original x coordinates, which were not transformed, versus the transformed y coordinates. So I get the same value of b that I had before, 6.8862, and the same value of a, negative 0.0504. Notice that the roles of a and b got switched. The calculator tells you what it is, ax, so a is going to be the slope. So there's the slope, and then the b is going to be the intercept, which in this case was natural log a. Then I solve for a. Um, I wanted to point out that Excel and the calculator actually have this built in um, into it. So let me show you how that works. <clears throat> so let me pull up the original y coordinates. Let me get rid of this now. So if I do this data here and insert scatter and then add a uh, fit to the data, add trend line, but this time I do an exponential fit as opposed to a linear fit. This is built in and so we get I hope the uh, same numbers that we had before. Uh, and let's see, let me add a few extra places, add the trend line label so f to four decimal places and 978.70 which I think matched at least approximately uh, the uh, number we had over there. I'm not exactly sure why that didn't run up exactly but you get the idea. So this is built into Excel already. Now this one is built into Excel, and there are a few things that are built into Excel, but not every function on Earth is built into Excel. So be able to do, uh, for homework and test purposes, any kind of problem like this that has any kind of intrinsically linear model, not just the ones that are built into Excel. Uh, the same thing holds on a calculator. So. If I go back to the lists, now remember that L3 was the transform, so let me clear that. I don't need that anymore. And let me go back to stat, calc. There are other linear regression models beside, or other regression models besides linear. And the one that I would want here is exp reg for exponential regression. And my x coordinates are in L1, the y coordinates are in L2. And so hitting enter we get our model, 978.706, um, which I think matched what we had in Excel. And then the B is down here. So notice we have a slightly different answer than we had before. So let me write this down. So the answer we have is y is equal to 978.7 times 0 0.95 zero eight one to the x power. Let me bring the calculator back over so we can check it. Nine seventy eight point seven uh, times point nine five zero eight to the x power. So just no, re replacing in the roles for a and b here. Okay, now notice that this does not exactly have the same form as uh, what we have here, and the reason, but we can easily transform this using logarithms. So this is equal to 978.7. Okay, so over here in the calculator, the natural log of 0.9508 O six seven four three five is equal to negative point oh five oh four. So let me write that down down here. The natural log of zero point nine five zero eight one is equal to negative point negative zero point five oh five zero four. And therefore, if I take exponential of both sides, that means 0 0.95081 is equal to e to the negative 0 0.0504. And so therefore, the base down here I can replace with e to the negative 0 0.0504. And so finally, by the law of exponents, we get 978.7 times e to the negative 0 0.0504.
x, just multiplying the two exponents. So except for round off error, accounting for the difference here in the uh, basically the fifth decimal place, except for round off error, um, and I didn't carry five places, I only carried four places here, so I'm not surprised that I get an error in the fifth place. Um, except for round off error, we get the exact same answer using this power, excuse me, the exponential regression function in the TI calculator, or using the exponential fit um, trend line in Excel. Uh, again, so that's built in, so feel free to use it. However, be able to do a problem like this even if the function is not already built in.